So you, you I actually, have a lot of thoughts about that main event. You haven't seen the main event, have you? I've seen nothing. I walked in the door like 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, and I knew that we were going to be doing the show, so I didn't want to. So I, I, I've seen nothing. I literally know nothing other than I know the finish of the main event. I mean, because nobody was uh, texting me during the show. Um, I did read. Um, I did read a bunch of comments, though. I did go through my emails really quick, and um, and uh, it's in, it's interesting because um, you know, I mean, I, there's people on Twitter who are saying one thing, and then I read the comments that that I've gotten, and they're they say very different. But um, well, what did what did the uh, people on Twitter say? And that, what did the uh, people that emailed you say? Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn was uh, like uh, the greatest match of all time. And then the people who emailed me, some of them, you know, most of them liked the match, but um, a lot of them liked the uh, men's chamber match the best. Um, both are getting, you know, best match votes. And, um, you know, I mean, mixed bag on the show, though. I mean, for sure. I mean, really? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought I thought the show, well, I'll put it this way. I thought the show itself was like an easy thumbs up in terms of like all the matches. All the matches were good. Even the Lesnar match had like a stupid finish, but the match was fun. So, for so the, did they, they put Lesnar over? No, they they. Uh, so that means that 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 well, Bray I'll get to it here. Lashley. I'll, I'll get to it here. But uh, getting to the thing, the matches were all good, and then we got to the main event. And uh, I can see how the main event would be a polarizing match in the sense that as a, as a match from start to finish, you know, the crowd was absolutely unbelievable. Of course. The wrestling was great. Roman Reigns was a great heel. Sami Zayn was a, was a great baby face. And, uh, and in the end, you know, Roman Reigns won. And we'll get into how it happened and everything like that, but... The way that they did it and what they did and the crowd reaction to the finish, like when I watched it the first time, I only saw like the second half of the match. I saw from where Sammy started making his big comeback all the way through the finish in the aftermath and everything like that. And I thought, you know, it was, it was, I didn't expect Sammy Zayn was going to win. And given that he didn't win, I mean, you know, it wasn't how I would have done it. And I thought it was a little bit flat, but you know, whatever. But then when I watched it from start to finish, when I watched Sammy's entrance, when I, when I watched it coming off the, the appearance that he did on SmackDown and the way the crowd reacted to him, and I, and I looked at the, and how crazy the crowd was for Sami Zayn during this match, I watched that match a second time, and it was like, dude, Sammy should have won this match. I mean, he just he should have won this match. But and know, really, the, the whole... You know, you know, I mean, you know the, the, one, the one thing on that is... is um, these situations are very, very rare in wrestling when something like this happens. And, I mean, it sort of happened to a degree with um, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, but this was way bigger. I mean, not bigger as far as people, but it was way bigger. And you never get another chance to do it again. I mean, you can you can have him no. win. You can have him win later somewhere else. That's my uh, point. Like, but, I, but, I, but, I, but this was the night. They I mean, did I, a. I, that's how I. That's how I felt last night when I watched SmackDown. It was like they okay. did a a strong heat finish. They gave Sammy a visual pinfall on Roman Reigns when the referee was down. They do that to and, everybody gets that. And when it was over, it was like, okay, I see that clearly they're trying to set up Sammy getting another shot down the road. And if Roman's not the champion, he's probably going to beat him. And, you know, we got some heat here. And so he's going to get the big win later. And I'm sure when he gets the big win over Roman Reigns, like everybody's going to go crazy and they're going to love it and it's going to get a great reaction. But you can't have today again. This was the day that you had the opportunity to do this. And even if he wins at WrestleMania, it's like, okay, well, you know, he wins the tag titles at WrestleMania or maybe they do whatever. I don't know what they'll do. They could do... You know, Roman and Sammy and Cody and one fall is for one of the belts and one falls for the other belt. And even if he won I don't, one I of them, I, I, I just think I mean, I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, I, I know what the plan was um, as of, you know, even even a week ago. And it was Roman and Cody. You know, it's not Sammy being, pigeon, you know, thrown in. Could they do it? Of course they could. They can always change. I thought that um, I mean, I thought. You know, watching the uh, Cody interview uh, with with Sammy, I thought, you know, maybe you do make it a three way. You know, it's like I, you know, just just do something to make it a three way. But if he beats him, you know, I don't know. You know, I mean, 
um, again, I, I really don't want to talk until watching the show in that sense. But, um, you know, I did... I mean, there's 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 so many um, you know in, you know like, again every situation's different you know TV ratings are big on Friday night will they stay big you know maybe they will and maybe they won't you know it's you don't know I mean how people will react I mean I I know that in with WWE a lot of times when people are really really furious that um, it doesn't hurt business you know whereas in other places at other times you know it it, it has I mean I just remember the one that I that I remember so well it would be the uh, the Road Warriors Tully and Arn at Starcade in Chicago and um, but it's a different era because like they're not running Montreal next month and the month after they might run Montreal in a year so by then who cares you know but but when the Road Warriors didn't beat Tully and Arn in Chicago and WCW was always selling out Chicago. They never sold out again, you know, until maybe they, I mean, until probably, um, this is this was in 87. They probably did, you know, in 97, you know, when, you know, 10 years later, but not probably not until then um, because it was one of those things. And that wasn't a story one-fourth as big as this, maybe not even one-tenth as big as this, but it was still the Road Warriors in Chicago going for the title, and the people really believed that they were going to win, and it was just one of those things where, I mean, I knew going in, it's like, if they don't win, uh, you're going to hurt Chicago, and you may hurt you may hurt everything, but but that wasn't the world titles, the tag team titles, but still, it, it, it did, you know, I mean, it, the, you know, again, they never drew well in Chicago, even for Flair and Steamboat. You know that match that's really famous. That was they had to paper the hell out of that building to to get it look you know three quarters, four fifths full, because the people went and it was like okay we didn't get it and you know that's that's what happened. And in this case, um, did you see the press conference by any chance? No, but we'll we'll do the press conference here in a second. But uh, so what happened during this match is. You had Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn in Montreal, and what I thought, and I'm sure many people thought was going to happen was, Jay was going to turn on Sami, Roman was going to beat him, Kevin Owens was going to come out, make the save for Sami, they were going to beat up the Usos, and then Sami and Kevin would have a huge hug in Montreal, everybody would go crazy and you set up WrestleMania. So what they did was, they had a 32-minute match, and great match, great near falls. People were super into Sammy's near falls. Tons of heat for Roman. Referee takes a bump. We have a visual pinfall for Sammy. Referee wakes back up. And then we had another referee bump. So Jimmy Uso comes down to the ring, hits a bunch of super kicks on, on Sammy Zayn, and then uh, no J. And so finally... You know, the referee is still down, and Paul Heyman ends up getting a steel chair. And he throws a steel chair into the ring, and Roman Reigns grabs a chair, and he's going to whack Sammy with this chair. And all of a sudden, into the ring slides Jay Uso. And so Jay Uso gets in Roman, kind of gets between Roman and Sammy. He doesn't really get in his face, he just gets between them. And he's got a look on his face where he's, he's kind of disgusted by this whole thing. And Roman starts screaming at him, like, you know, what are you doing here? Get out of my way. And Jay just stares him down. So finally, they replay what they did at the Royal Rumble with Sammy. So Roman takes a chair, and he says, all right, here. And he gives the chair to Jay Uso. So Jay's got the chair. Roman Reigns goes over. He turns his back to Jay. He starts yelling at Sammy. Everyone's expecting Jay is going to hit Roman Reigns with the chair or do the swerve or whatever, but Jay just stands there with the chair. And so Roman turns back around and he's like, why aren't you doing anything? Why aren't you hitting this guy? And so as he's screaming at him, Sammy tries a spear. Roman moves out of the way. Sammy spears Jay Uso. Jay Uso falls out of the ring. Roman then gets the chair. He beats Sammy. He beats him with the chair repeatedly. He hits the ropes, he spears the guy, and then the referee slides in the ring and he counts the pin. I was like, what? That was the finisher you came up with after all of this. So he gets the pin, and it, it was not as, it was not, I, I wasn't there, obviously, for the, uh, uh, when San Martino lost the title to Koloff. 
But in the modern era, this is as close as you're going to get to. That referee countered the pin, and this place went quiet. And they cut to these people in the crowd, and these people are like, what? He just got pinned? They're like aghast. And then, of course, Jimmy hits the ring, and Jimmy starts beating on Sami Zayn. And then they hit Kevin Owens' music. So they hit Kevin's music, and, you know, obviously it gets a huge reaction because it's Kevin Owens' music. But as Kevin Owens is coming down to the ring, the director, he wants to get some shots of fans going crazy because here comes Kevin Owens. And the first guy that he cuts to has this look on his face like, I'm over it. I don't care one bit. And so Kevin comes down to the ring and he starts beating up Jimmy and he gives Jimmy the stunner and then he gives Roman Reigns a stunner and Roman Reigns stumbles into the corner. And so Roman's in one corner, Sammy's in the other corner, and, uh, and Kevin Owens is right in the middle. And so Kevin looks at Roman Reigns in the corner and he looks at Sammy Zayn in the other corner and he steps out of the way. And Sammy runs, he hits the big boot in the corner on Roman Reigns, Crowd cheers, and then we don't get a hug because Kevin Owens rolls out of the ring and he starts to walk to the back, and Sammy's just looking so disappointed with everything, and Kevin looks back, and you're thinking, oh, man, Kevin's going to go back and get him. Nope, Kevin just keeps walking, and Sammy's still disappointed, and then Sammy looks at the people, and they, like, cheer him and everything, and that's how the show went off the air. Well, there's still plenty of there's still plenty of TV. I mean, there's right six weeks at everything. Yes, until WrestleMania, so it's like I I mean, you could have done the hug. Maybe you want to build for the hug and build ratings. You know, build up ratings. You know, to to build to the hug. That's, I'm sure that's what they're that's, gonna do. That's, that's I'm that's sure fine. they're gonna do a hug, that's and I'm sure they're gonna get the tag titles at WrestleMania and everything. But oh, dude, sure when they, you watch they, this they, they show, when you watch this show and you see this crowd, it's like what. That is what they came up with for this crowd. This crowd was so deflated at the end of this thing. And, you know, they'll I'm sure they'll do whatever. But I don't know. I watched it, and I thought it was the wrong call when all was said and done. But, I mean, I, I, I know when Monday, Monday uh, when I watched, and I, up until Monday, I didn't really think that they were going to do anything. I mean, look, I'd been, look, I was told they weren't going to do it with the Sammy thing. But I'm, you always go like, look. You know, I mean, especially with with Vince. I've seen Vince change finishes last minute so many times. So it's like, you know, whatever. You know, it's like, um, you know, it could always change. When I saw the thing Monday, um, you know, I thought, you know, they really kind of have to do something, you know, because they could put Sammy over and they could have Roman beat him back in three weeks. You know, I mean, if it was like, guys, you know. If, I, I don't even want to mention Booker's names at this point, but I mean I know Booker's who who, who would absolutely that would be their call, you know, and, and and it's not necessarily a wrong call. You at least get people that memorable thing. Yeah, it only lasted three weeks. Guess what? You know when um, I give you you know another famous example. Like I was at Texas Stadium when Ric Flair wrestled Kerry, and 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 Kerry had to win that match. You know for all the same reasons here. And we all knew that, you know, Ric Flair had to be world champion. Kerry could not be world champion. He couldn't be. So Rick wins, and a couple weeks later, Kerry loses the title. It was flat. Did it hurt Dallas? Yeah, it did. That You know, they waited all this time, and, you know, they had the giant crowd at the stadium, and everybody, and they got their title change, and then Rick got it back anyway. Um, but it would have hurt more not to do the title. I mean, I mean everyone... In that situation, and granted, David had died and all that, but I mean, everyone—Jim Crockett, Ric Flair, everyone—they were a hundred percent on board with the idea that Kerry had to win. There was no other finish, you know. Um, even though, you know, Rick was always going to be the champion, and you know, it—if they—it—it it, it still ended up being better than doing a DQ, because you know, they certainly wouldn't have had Rick win. But doing a bad finish, it, the the fact that they did get the title change, they did get that moment. Um, because you, you know, you couldn't repeat that moment, even if they decided to do it in a year later, uh, it would, it could, you could never repeat that, that moment. And this was one of those situations. It's again, like, it's like, it was really, really big and, but you know, again, but they, they had their heart set on, you know, one thing and in their mind, Sami Zayn was not the WrestleMania main event this year. He just wasn't. And, uh. 
You know, well, I, I, I knew that that was the idea, and all of the things that I came up with were all presuming that he was not going to beat Roman, but man, when he came out on SmackDown and they just wouldn't stop cheering for yeah. minutes on end. That, you know, that, and, was the, that was, they said that that was the, the second longest ovation at a Montreal sports event that anybody had ever seen, longer than Hogan. Although I felt, I mean, I remember the Hogan thing, but you know, Hogan's also an expert at riling up the crowd, um, and you know, more than Sammy. But Sammy didn't have to do anything; he just had to stand there, and it worked. And it doesn't matter, and the comparison doesn't matter anyway. The reality is, is that uh, I watched that thing, and it's like when I watched that thing, it was like, okay, you got to, you know what I mean? It's like you got to reevaluate the situation. And and they didn't read about you. Know, the well, it was it was not only that, but when you watched it, it w it was either okay, he either needs to win, or if he doesn't win, you've got to have some sort of plan for that night for those people where they're not going to leave just feeling like. Well, they got ah. the plan. The plan they got the plan that he gave him the the haluba kick when it was over, I guess. You know, but so. you, when you watch it, it's like that is what they came up with after all of this. It, it just felt like I, I, they I thought, had there had to have been something better than that. I, I, I thought you would do something to where at least you end it where everyone knows Sammy's going to be in the WrestleMania match. And they still well, you certainly do, didn't do that. You, you, you certainly you, did not leave them with I, that thought I at mean, all. You could, you could still do that because, again, you know, Montreal for the market for the Montreal market of course if you're gonna do it in the Montreal market he should have gotten like a, a one two three and then you know maybe some situation where you know I mean if they, look, if they were gonna do a three ways Sammy might have, might as well have gone in as champion because doesn't you know because at that point it's still WrestleMania doesn't matter you know you know what I'm saying and Cody can you know they can whatever they want to do Cody can win Roman can win wherever they want to go whatever they think is the most optimum thing for the summer months is where you go but uh you know, um, now I I'm didn't gonna, see I, I, the yes. No, I mean I didn't see it, so I I don't really want to make anything. But I saw like I saw the whole build, and from Monday on, I mean even before Monday, I was pretty strong on the fact that everything was different. You know, and and I know people there. You know, it's the same thing. You know, it's like I know people there who who were very very strong that Sammy winning is the best thing, but you know I was also told you know that. Um, you know the, the powers that be um, are not even considering it. You know, I mean that's what I was told. They're not even. It's not even being considered now. You know, again, as time went on, especially the Monday interview and the direction they went on Monday, um, you know, it was just like, well, I hope they're considering it now. You know, but um, and maybe they did consider it, and you know, did whatever they did. Maybe they flipped a coin and just decided. You know, to it do was it, uh, it was funny. Did, did you watch all of SmackDown? Oh yeah. Okay, there was there was one line on commentary by Michael Cole where he was talking about the main event, and he goes, he said something to the effect of, you know, it's very, very unlikely that Sammy has any chance of winning. But you never know. Yeah, he <laughs> did, what, he, a, he, what a weird thing to say unless he, he's he, actually going to win. Well, the, like, are uh, you well, just well, preparing us here? Well, well you know, that, that which is so funny is when he said that, I thought, again, it's like, wow, they're reevaluating the situation because... Why would you say that unless he's going to win? Well, but but in fact, it. in fact, he said it to prepare us because he, you know, and obviously, you know, he didn't say that one out of the blue. So, I mean, obviously, he said that because they recommended or they directed him to say that, and they, you know, directed him to say that because they wanted in people's mind that hey, you know what? I know you're along for this ride, and it's a great ride, and and everyone's going to be watching this show. It's going to be, the, you know, more people are going to be watching this B show than any B show, probably ever in history. I'm going to guess. Um, but we just want you to know, you know, don't get too carried away, because Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes is our direction. So we're just letting you, you know, you know. I mean, we and we, which we've already told you, you know. So so enjoy the ride. Don't get carried away. And, so I didn't see the uh, the post show press conference, but Sammy did. Uh, they did interview him, and and he said he essentially said I I felt really weird when it was over. I really don't know what I feel like, and he made a comment about how you know when I looked around at the crowd after getting pinned, my first thought was this is not fun. 
because well, the these other people th- were so deflated. Well, and I mean, the, other, the, the other thing he said was like, it, you know, and I guess because he probably was there. And I mean, I remember and I was there, you know, and I could just imagine what it would have been like. It's like, you know, in that building, you know, go to see George St. Pierre fight and then he loses instead of wins. Exactly. And you know what? One of the things about pro wrestling is that doesn't ever have to happen. Never. In MMA, if George St. Pierre goes to Montreal, you can't control if he wins or loses. If if everything would be better if he wins, it doesn't matter. You can't control it. But in pro wrestling, the whole point is you can control it. Yeah. There was nothing stopping them from having Sami Zayn win. There was nothing, nothing. preventing nothing. them. It's not like you have nothing. zero tickets sold for WrestleMania. Like the place has already got 55000 both nights or whatever. I yeah. mean, you've sold your tickets. The show is going to do great on Peacock, regardless of who goes in as champion. There was and literally you know no good reason not to put the title on him on this show. Okay, but here's the thing. Given that Sammy is the one who's drawing the ratings, Roman was on that show last night and they did another big rating. You know, that show has been doing well with or without Roman. The draw is Sammy. Then which and it's like, okay. So so at given that evidence, it's like you know, you know, it's it's like even if you think I mean you shouldn't even if if you're if you are analyzing the data, by doing so you're looking at it and going like we will probably do better with Sammy. I mean, that's the conclusion that I come to. It's like, okay, you know, I mean, yeah, they, we spent a year on Roman, but guess what? Somebody passed him up. I mean, he did. You know what I mean? It's like you can't say he didn't because the data is right there, okay? It, they weren't doing these numbers. Roman's been champion for two years. They, weren't, they haven't done these numbers ever. Yeah, when John Cena came in, they did these numbers for one shot. And if John was in week after week, it would only be week one where, where they would do these numbers. Sammy is the biggest draw that they have had on this show in, you know, I don't know. I have to look back. I mean, maybe three years ago, you know, when TV was different, maybe they were doing numbers this big. I don't remember exactly. And they weren't. And I don't think they, they were quite this big either that even then. But this is this is has become the biggest draw that show has had. And, you know, it's it's you know, the, it's the whole storyline. Of course, it's not Sammy in and of itself in a vacuum. But this is the storyline. That's the point. It's like, keep this storyline going. I'd keep this thing going for as long as possible. And at this point, you know, if Sammy wins, Roman coming back, it's the same feud. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, whatever. It already happened. We can talk about it. It's already ourselves. happened. It already happened, yes. It already happened. All right, let's let's uh, let's look at the rest of the show here. I so will we got say, a lot to I, well, get into. I mean, I mean um, you know, again, this, this is something we're going to look back on in six months because, you know, again... Maybe things will continue to get bigger, and you know, and in which case, if in which case, if they do, it's like all they did was ruin, ruin a moment. That's all, okay. And and that's happened all the time. I've seen people ruin moments left and right, you know, a lot, a lot in the last six months. If things go down, then you know, um, we'll know more, you know. And it was like we could look back, and um, you know, I mean. Uh, I, I the the only one where I felt like this was I mean I remember feeling like this before um, the Austin heel turn um, in in uh, Houston Texas and I was screaming at them I I wrote it I was screaming do not turn because I, I knew that I'd been told they're turning Steve Austin do not turn Steve Austin do not turn Steve Austin please do not turn Steve Austin it's like no you know in Las Vegas there were people booing Steve Austin and it's like yeah great. There's a few people, 5% of the crowd was booing Steve Austin. So let's turn your number one merchandise seller heel when you got, again, when you got no baby faces. You know, I mean, granted, they were going to turn Triple H baby face, but then he decided he didn't want to turn anyway. So you got no baby faces. We're going to turn him heel because, well, he, you know, in, in fairness, he asked. You know, and uh, and you know, and today, of course, he'll say he was wrong. Um, you know, he said it for he said it for years and years and years. But it's like, um, I mean, that's the one. You know, I mean, it's it. You know, you make the wrong call um, in certain situations, and you never get it back. And you know, we can go through Sting and Hulk Hogan. You know, where and and granted, they they actually that didn't kill the company, but it but Sting was never the same afterwards. Um, you know, they lucked into Goldberg the next year, so they were okay for another. Uh, year, but um, but they'd have been much stronger if they had done, you know what, 
you know, the obvious. Scorpion Deathlock right in the middle, right? I mean, the obvious. And, and sometimes, you know, whatever. I don't, um, you know, it's nice. And again, sometimes, you know, six months from now, he may look back and go, guess what? The guy knows his audience and, and he was right. Or, you know, but, but by saying that, but to, do I have the confidence? It's like, all I know is I remember with the Austin thing. It's like, you know, it's like they know better. They know better. And it's like, well, they, they didn't know better, you know? So anyway. Uh, it's something to revisit down the line. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how knock, knock jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? What does that mean? She's small? We barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, they, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.